Welcome to an overview of the patient clinical summary function within HealthInfoNet's analytics platform. To access the patient clinical summary, click on the patient name in either the readmission return list or the population patient list. This summary provides basic clinical data, information about risk, and patient-specific standard interventions. You can also see what is driving the risk scores. In the demo system, we protect PHI and shield the patient identifiers. When you are in your live system, you will see a patient's name. The section on the left under the patient's name provides you with gender, age, date of birth, address, payer information, and previous inpatient and an emergency encounter information. The middle section provides you with the number of encounter types in proxied cost of encounter activity over the previous 12 months. Under the patient current risk profile, the current risk scores are color coded. The colors tell you how far the risk score is from the average score for the to total population. Red represents that the risk score is greater than three standard deviations from the risk scores average. Orange represents that the risk score is between one and three standard deviations from the risk score average. Black represents that the risk score is within one standard deviation from the risk score's average. Below the summary box, the chart provides you with monthly encounter events of care using the bar graphs. Additionally, they provide you with a trend of risk scores using the line graph. As you see from the key on the top, blue is admissions, ED visits are in red, and outpatient is orange. This gives you a good snapshot of how your patient is doing. The chart on the bottom provides you with an average monthly cost for the visits represented above via the bars. The lines provide you with a monthly trend of the future cost of the patient. These costs are based on a scale of where 35,900 is high and zero is low. Use the navigation box on the left to see more information about the patient. You can access information on chronic diseases, medications, labs, interventions, risk factors, and encounter history. Clicking on chronic diseases, medications, and labs will take you to a page with more specific information on each of these areas. The chronic diseases found in the list are based on ICD-9 and ICD-10 codes, and the medication listings are for all dispensed medications. The lab results show tests that have an abnormal value rather than all of the labs. At this time, if you're looking for more specific information, go to the clinical portal and access the patient's record. Next are the care interventions in patient risk factors. The interventions are geared towards options for addressing areas of risk. These interventions are only listed if the patient has data that satisfies the intervention. The first column, patient risk, describes the intervention in ration rationale that supports it. In the data column are elements that satisfy this logic. Items listed here are highlighted to take you to the source of the information from within the patient clinical summary. Finally, in the intervention column are specific actions for patient care. Below you will see the top 10 risk factors that drive each of this patient's risk scores. These risk factors are derived using machine learning pattern recognition. In the end, these features contribute towards a patient's risk quantitatively. Finally, by clicking on encounter history, you will see a list with the MRN, encounter ID, facility, encounter type, admission, and discharge date. If the encounter is for an inpatient encounter, then this row will include the inpatient length of stay and inpatient 30-day readmission risk score. If the encounter is an emergency, then this row will include the emergency 30-day readmission risk score. This is how to access the clinical information about the patient directly from a list function.